The model we usually use is something called the CIA model. It wasn't designed by the CIA. Uh, C, I, and A stand for confidentiality, integrity, and availability, um, which are three long words. But what they basically mean, um, confidentiality, is when data that is supposed to be private or secret somehow is made unprivate or unsecret. So attacks and confidentiality are the ones that are occurring the most right now. Um, WikiLeaks was an attack on confidentiality because they stole classified government data and published it. Uh, anytime somebody steals your credit card data and uses that to purchase something, it's an attack on confidentiality, as Homer Simpson is currently doing here using Ned Flanders' credit card. Um, of course, attacks on confidentiality can also have strategic impact. So what we see here um, on, the up, on the upper left corner is a US F-35. On the right and the bottom is a Chinese J-20. Now they look pretty similar. And we know that gigabytes and gigabytes of data have been stolen from Lockheed Martin servers, from many other US defense contractor servers. And officially we don't know who stole it. Um, although if you talk to anyone in these companies, they'll say they're pretty sure that the people are from China. And surprisingly, the Chinese have a brand new jet fighter. This was revealed last year that is very similar to the next generation fighter that the US, along with the UK, and some other NATO allies have been developing. That's what happens when you have attacks on confidentiality. And these are the types of attacks that America is most worried about right now, that the UK is talking about the most, and that most of the industrialized world is most worried about. But I would argue that attacks on confidentiality are not the biggest threat. What's the worst that happens? Something that is secret is not secret. Life goes on, no one gets hurt. Things get more serious when you talk about attacks on availability. And this is what the attack against Estonia in 2007 was. It was an attack on availability. It was an attack on the ability of citizens and businesses to use the services that, are, that we depend on on the net. So this is sort of a cute way of looking at a 404 attack. But the point is that you can use any service that you depend on that relies on information and communications technology it can be a web service, but it doesn't have to be a web service. It can be your phone service. It can be your electricity. It's subject to an attack on availability. Um, I mean, actually, at the end of the day, the best cyber attack is any attack on the electrical system. If I take a few grenades and throw them into a power substation, and I cut the power off, in a few hours, your computers won't work, your phones won't work, your data systems won't work, logistics systems won't work, food won't get to the grocery store, and pretty soon you'll have what um, the head of our cert, our, our head sort of cyber geek, considers to be the most important thing for any society, which is to say, bread, milk, and gasoline. You run out of bread, milk, and gasoline, and society breaks down. And that's what attacks on availability let you do. But then it gets worse, because you can also have attacks on integrity. Because the fact of the matter is an increasing part of our lives depends on the integrity of data, which means that if someone goes and changes data or changes the way an information system works, even if you can access it, they can cause incredible damage. So, um, we'll talk about these pictures in a moment, but much more boring than everything you see here is going and changing records. If I break into a national health registry or I break into the bank's registry and I change the data, the entire trust that society is based on just falls apart. What happens if I can't trust the bank to actually tell me how much money I have and I stop using the bank and the banking system falls apart? Um, it'll certainly make everything that happened in 2008, 2009 look like pie. Um, if uh, I don't trust the government's keeping of my medical records anymore and I don't believe that when I go to the hospital they'll, ha they'll have my allergies on file or even worse, I'm worried that my medical records will be changed and used against me, and I don't give medical information to the government. You can very easily see how, on the one hand, we can't go back. We can't take back all the information that's on information systems, but now that it's there, it's very vulnerable. 